Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are doing episode 22 of the Fortnite Mythbusters. In today's video, we are going over a ton of myths with the brand new shopping cart that is now in Fortnite. Before we get into today's video, comment down the start date that you started playing Fortnite or at least signed up for it. Last night, I actually looked through my emails to see when I started playing Fortnite and I found this email on 9-26-17 which is the exact same day Fortnite Battle Royale was released. I thought it was pretty cool and I didn't expect to see that I have actually been playing since day one. I knew I've been playing for a while but to see that it was actually day one was pretty crazy. So make sure to go look through your email and see when you signed up to see when you started playing Fortnite. Also guys, I'm giving away 1000 V-Bucks to a lucky winner. To enter, all what you have to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment your console down below. Make sure to be active on future videos for when I draw the winner. Make sure to comment any myths that you have down below and without further ado, let's get right on in to today's video. To kick things off with the very first myth, the myth is, will the boogie bomb still affect you if you are controlling a shopping cart? When I tested this in game, sadly we only had one boogie bomb, so we were unable to test to see what happens if you are sitting inside of the shopping cart when you throw a boogie bomb. But when you are pushing the cart, it'll automatically detach you from it and I assume it'll just keep pushing forward itself, but in this case, it just detached them and the cart stayed still. We tried for multiple games after this to get a boogie bomb and a shopping cart once again but we're unable to find any so I will definitely have to try this out myself to see what happens when you are inside of the cart. The next myth is what happens when you throw a port fort on top of a shopping cart? Obviously, if you would throw the port fort down right on the shopping cart, the shopping cart will just be in the middle platform at the very bottom of the port fort So we switched it up a little bit and put the shopping cart in the middle of the wall to see if it'll glitch out, maybe it'll fly away. But when we threw the port fort the cart was just glitching in between both of the walls. This was very similar to the llama myth that we had earlier on when we threw a port fort on a loot llama. When I went in to go and try and ride in the shopping cart, the shopping cart kind of like spazzed out and would not let us flip it back over until we just spammed the crap out of E. When we would try and control the shopping cart to get out of there, we would back up and get on top of the tires, which would make us just kind of like immediately get off of the shopping cart. And as you can see, the shopping cart is just kind of glitching everywhere. The next myth is, are you able to destroy structures while inside of the shopping cart? Now when we tested this in game, I tested it out on my own and with my friend in the cart. Now immediately, he was shooting the wall to get through, then I told him to try and pickaxe it and he was unable to hit it. Now by the looks of it, I think I was a little too far from the wall but we were pretty close so he definitely should have been able to hit it. I don't know if this was just a glitch on his end or if we were too far so I decided to try this out on my own. This time instead of being still hitting a wall we were moving and I was hitting a tree which I assume might have a bigger hitbox than that wall and I was able to hit them perfectly fine and still gain the resources. I honestly have no clue why it did not allow my friend to hit the wall. The next myth is, will an impulse grenade move your player when you are pushing a cart? In game this was really fun to do and you could definitely pull off some awesome plays if you will ever have the chance to try this out. When I threw the impulse grenade at my friend, the cart just went flying and he did like a tumble roll and actually landed and rolled away. I had one extra impulse grenade so when I went to go push him I threw it down and I actually grabbed onto the cart and it made this weird animation of like my character holding onto the bottom of it while flying. I thought this was pretty cool to do and you could definitely pull off some really awesome sniper plays or even kills. Maybe if like you're on the side of a cliff you throw the impulse grenade, the cart flies and you will take a little bit of fall damage but you could definitely get maybe like a no scope with a sniper. Especially when you throw an impulse grenade and you land on the side of like a downhill, you will definitely have a ton of momentum to go even further than before. The next myth was super requested, what happens when you push a shopping cart onto a launch pad? This one was very difficult to do because not only did you have to find a launch pad, you had to find a shopping cart in the exact same game and set it all up without being shot at or being killed. Luckily, after a massive build battle, we were able to get one launch pad and still have our shopping cart right after the fight. I tested this out in two ways. The first way, I actually pushed the shopping cart with my player connected onto the launch pad. And what actually happened, I did not physically land on the launch pad, the front wheels did, and it still launched my player up into the air.
Next, I had to redesign it so I would put the shopping cart on top of a platform hovering over the launch pad and I would destroy the floor and have the shopping cart just drop straight onto the launch pad. When I did this, sadly the shopping cart was not able to fly up into the air but it still did the same exact launch pad noise that it makes when you do jump with a player. The next myth is, are you faster than the first storm zone when pushing a shopping cart? To test this out, I definitely thought this was going to work. I waited for the storm and I went in just a straight line, just pushing and jumping on top of the cart. Now originally running, you are way slower, but when you're spamming the push tap and like just landing and gliding along the cart, you aren't really that much faster than the zone. You might even be the exact same speed if you are lucky and maybe even going a little bit down but when you are trying to outrun the zone you will have a bunch of obstacles in the way such as trees, mountains and even going up hills which definitely makes you not as fast as the zone. Of course a little bit later on into the game when the storm zones do get a little bit slower you can definitely outrun it on foot and even on the shopping cart very easily. But if you do end up taking the right paths and you are on the shopping cart in the first zone going down some hills, you will definitely outrun it. The final myth is, are you able to put items in the shopping cart and move them from one place to another? In game, when I tested this out, I definitely thought it had to have worked because I mean obviously shopping carts, they are meant to hold things when you are trying to shop. So what I did, I landed on top of the shopping cart and tried to throw my shotgun to make it look like it was landing inside of it and it just went straight through the cart. I tried it once again with a different type of shotgun in the actual cart part and you would just go straight through it. This would definitely be an awesome feature I would love to see added into Fortnite. It would be a really good way to transport items from one place to another. Say you need to get a med kit to your friend but you have a full inventory. Imagine just pushing stuff around in the shopping cart. This could all be equaled out, you could either have a player in the cart or only items but none of the exact same. Anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of the Fortnite Mythbusters. I hope you have enjoyed, if you have make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure to comment any myths you'd like to see in the next or future episodes of the Fortnite Mythbusters and I will see you guys next time.